Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own, very simple, chicken coop. Here are all of the materials that we are going to be using throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those materials and enough of them as well. Begin by placing an upside down, inward facing spruce wood stair. You may find it easier to use a block to help you to do this. Going right of the spruce stair, I want you to place two spruce wood slabs, followed by an oak wood slab, and then follow up by placing an upside down spruce wood stair connecting to the oak slab. I want you to place an oak slab on the ground in front of the previous oak slab. On the right and left spruce wood stairs, place spruce wood planks. In addition to this, place a spruce wood plank next to the oak slab that you placed in the formation. I then want you to place an oak fence here to form a little window. And I want you to place an oak wood plank on top of each of the left and right spruce wood planks. I then want you to come towards the back of the build. And I want you to place three spruce wood slabs, one, two, three, extending backwards from each of the upside down spruce wood stairs. One, two, three. I want you to fill the space in between in using oak slabs. Then on the back of the build, I want you to place upside down spruce wood stairs on both sides as we did on the front. I also want you to then connect them together using spruce wood slabs. And then you can place a layer of spruce wood planks that goes all the way around the outside of our chicken coop, like this. What we are then going to do is we are going to form the roof. The roof is quite easy to do. We, it all begins with the two oak planks that we have at the front of the build. I want you to place oak slabs extending out from the lower halves of them. Extend the oak slabs towards you, each by one, and then extend the oak slabs inwards and upwards equally on both sides until you eventually get to the point where you can no longer join them together. You then flare up the block in the middle like this. We then come inside of the coop and we place one, two, three spruce wood planks like this on the front. We now know that we have to do the same on the back. And then we simply extend the oak wood planks backwards from the front of the build towards the back of the build like so, including the one right up at the top as well. We can then do the same using the oak wood slabs like this. And eventually that will give us mostly what we have on the front of the build. The only thing we will have to do is make the roof look slightly prettier. So by placing one block here and here will give us the same effect. It is also optional to simply change the back of the coop to simply just fence like this and then that way you can get a good look inside of the coop front or back. Now that we have done this I'm going to come towards the front of the build and we are just going to make a fence around our coop. So the chickens want to have a little bit of a run so that they can have some exercise and such like that. I'm going to place an oak fence on the left and right sides of the coop and then I'm going to extend the fence about as forwards as I want. You can make this as long as you like. I'm going to go five. One, two, three, four, five. Might even be a little too long. One, two, three, four, five. We then want to place a couple of oak fence gates just so that we can enter and leave the coop and then extend fence to join to the opposite side. If you want to make this look a little bit fancier, you can destroy underneath the fence and place some spruce planks. If you like, oh, it's very easy to accidentally destroy the fence and the fence gates as we do this. So, you know, you can be as careful as you like, but if you're a little bit clumsy like me, then it's very possible that you may have to replace a little bit like this. If you want to decorate the actual coop area, the actual run of the coop, you can destroy some of the grass like this. You may want to leave some. You may want to leave some like grass for the chickens. 
you can add a couple of oak planks here and there. But something that looks cool is adding some hay, like this, and perhaps some pods are, like so. You could even grow some double tall grass, you could even completely rip up all of the grass if you liked and place in some oak planks, you could indeed use more hay bales, really it is all about what you think looks good. We can go as far as extending the spruce planks back to, to actually line up the fence with the back of the chicken coop and on top of that you can place the oak fence as well so that it just looks a little bit cleaner just from the front and from the sides a little bit and you can always use lanterns to light up the ends of the coop like this the little run area and you can also use a little bit of wooden shovel if you like <laughs> or any shovel <laughs> being a bit specific but you can use a shovel to create some grass path if you like and you could even dig underneath the actual coop as well uh, if you wanted to add just that tad little bit more detail into the coop you can also use some yellow carpet and that also just looks like straw or hay or you know just something nice for the chickens to lay on and perhaps lay their eggs and such and there we go that is, ladies and gentlemen, the chicken coop. The only thing that we are missing right now is chickens, and all we have to do is just spawn a few. I feel as though that we could have quite a few chickens in here. It is quite a large area, so there we go. Perfect. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me and the channel out very much. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, please check out the card system, description below, and the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!